Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for February 12th through the 18th. Now this is intended to be a love reading and since it is the week of Valentine's Day I decided to pick two uh, love oracle decks. So we're going to get two energies and then we'll start with the tarot cards. Oh, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Not a good way to start out the week. Maybe it is. If that's what you're looking for. Like I said, this reading will not resonate with every single person. Just take what does and leave the rest. Have patience. Love is patient and kind. Always have patience. Have patience, be kind. Enjoy yourself, be grateful for the finer things in life, be grateful for all that you have. Love yourself the way you are. Because if you don't, you're going to miss opportunities. That's where the separation could come in. You have to love yourself fully inside and out unless you want to miss opportunities in love. It's time for you to really, really be patient, okay? Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your partner. This is about give and take. It's about generosity. It's about giving and receiving. In a partnership, in a relationship, there has to be equal. Giving and receiving. It's time for you to stop denying that you don't have enough or that you're not enough or that you're not good enough or whatever. This is, that's, that's false. That's not true. And many of you are causing your own feuds, your own feuds in your own household by, by feeling lack of worth. You know, it's like you guys are feeling very, you're very, very weary. It's time to release those feelings. It's time for you to receive. And it's like you guys aren't letting yourselves receive love or receive any companionship from a partner or from somebody because of lack of self-worth. There's something to do, I mean... There's some kind of, uh, ending, okay? There's some kind of ending that could happen because you won't let somebody love you. That's for somebody, okay? And for some other, somebody else, there could be a third-party situation with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? That could it be impacting your life. All right, impacting your future. Three is a crowd. Three is a crowd, and it could be causing a problem in your life. All right, three, three, and it feels like you have been very patient, and you've been you've been making a lot of compromises. I mean, that's what it feels like to me. You've been making a lot of compromises and trying to make things work out. You've been really uh, steadfast in your approach, but I feel like you're getting weary and you're, you're, you're wanting to release something and that could lead to a separation. There's a release that is desirable here um, because there's been a lot of feuds. There's been a lot of family feuds, maybe between you and a partner. Children could be involved. There's definitely some family feuds here. Look at that. You just flipped, came out and flipped over. That is you. This is calling for you to have strength. 
and discipline and willpower and to find that inner force that is inside of you and start to become more confident with yourself, start to become more um, happy with who you are, okay? This person is, is very much healed, very much um, comfortable with herself, uh, can take care of herself very well, feels good, feels really good, enjoys the finer things in life with ease. But it's reversed here. And this is a man or a woman. It's telling you to just release, let go, don't worry, be happy. You can do that. You need to let go of worry. You need to let go of not the unknown and use the force within you to master your emotions during this period. I think you're going through some kind of feuds that you're bringing about yourself, okay? You are bringing them about because you're being called to use your inner your inner wisdom and your inner strength and your inner forces to overcome them. But you haven't overcome them yet and they're causing some problems at home, okay? I feel like they are. It's like you're in constant conflict, but I think the conflict, a lot of it's coming from your head. A lot of tension. And, and you know, it feels like you're not, there's a lot of tension, there's a lot of conflict, but you're not really moving forward. You're standing still. You're waiting for somebody else to do something. You need to make the first move. And you're just sitting back, waiting for things to happen. You know, and eventually something's going to happen. And you ain't going to be able to stop it from happening. Okay? Something is going to happen. There's going to be some kind of conflict, okay, that might cause an uproar. There could be an uproar on the horizon, okay? And, you know, you're really going to have to be strong. And the fact of the matter is, is right now you're not feeling very strong. So you better do something, you know, do something to bring your strength back. Um, because you can't fake it forever. You can't fake the truth. You can't pretend that everything's okay. You can't um, mask what's going on with anything, with addictions, you know, you can't mask it forever. It's going to come out, okay? It is a time of healing, and you should take it as such, okay? It's a time of healing your past wounds and, and, and freeing yourself and being able to just go with the flow, being able to let it roll off your shoulders, to being able to not worry about things. That's what I see this week is about. I feel like there's going to be a conflict, there's going to be an uproar, and it's the outcome depends on you, how you handle it. How you react is going to be the how how it works out, whether there's, you know, a separation or if it, you know, the, your patient pays off. I mean, there's two different roads here for somebody, you know. <laughs> there's an unexpected choice in love is this is what the hell is this there's an unexpected choice in love there's a decision that needs to be made regarding a partner maybe this this was unexpected so did somebody new come into your life and now you don't know what to do i mean it's considered somebody come into your partner's life and they don't know what to do or and now it's a third because i thought there might be a third party situation it appears that there could be a third party situation somewhere and, you know, the truth could come out or you, you come to the point where the truth has already come out. You already know about this third party situation and this is the week where the shit hit the fan. You buried it long enough. Somebody's buried it long enough and it's, you know, it could certainly come out and force someone to start over. Force someone to start a new journey where somebody's been procrastinating when they knew they needed to start a new journey but they haven't done it yet. Somebody's been clinging to the past, not letting go of the past. Refusing to see things from a new perspective. It's time to see something from a new perspective, to stand up for yourself, to be objective. To take or to be assertive in this situation instead of sitting back waiting for nothing to happen. You wait, sit back and wait for nothing to happen. Something's going to happen that you might not have expected. That's what I see. I think that you're sitting back. You're waiting for seeing, you know, what's going to happen. And you're feeling pretty ungrateful and pretty sad and depressed. And, oh, my God, woe is me, that kind of energy. 
and all of a sudden some there's going to be some kind of shake up there's going to be some kind of uproar that opens your eyes and you are not going to be able to sit back mm -hmm. you know you may be forced uh, uh, there could be a separation for somebody absolutely to move on because there's there's like a lack of communication there's a lack of um, togetherness there's a lack of moving forward where you're at without you taking action okay so this what's going on here is that you are not taking action the universe I consider the tower of the universe and many times many a lot is saying okay all right Nobody's doing nothing about this, so, you know, I see what's going on here. There's a lot of struggle, a lot of feuding going on, a lot of fighting, tension, animosity. You could cut it with a knife, the tension. And nobody's doing anything. They're all pretending, burying their feelings, drugging up, drinking, whatever, eating, pretending. And I'm just sitting back here watching for the right time. Sitting back here waiting for the right time to uh, light to light up their world. <laughs> okay, so when the tower comes comes in the reading, be unex expect the unexpected. Lightning could strike at any moment. Are you ready? How you handle it will determine the outcome. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. A separation. Or have patience. Love is patient and kind. Always. You can't block this tower from coming. It's coming. It's coming. Are you ready? Whether it comes this week or next week or whatever, it's coming. That's what I have, Leo. Talk to you later.